This week, I want to give you a simple but effective three-step framework to set yourself up for success in going after and achieving the things that matter most to you, your top goals for next year. Not the things you would like to do or want to do. No, those are too wishy-washy and nobody ever follows through on those kind of goals anyways. No, I'm talking about things that you must do, what you need to do. Welcome to the Mind Wrench Podcast with your host, Rick Sellover, where minor adjustments produce major improvements in mindset, personal growth, and success. This is the place to be every Monday, where we make small improvements and take positive actions in our business and personal lives that will make a major impact in our success, next level growth, and quality of life. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mind Wrench Podcast. This weekly show is the personal and professional development podcast designed primarily for those serving the automotive repair industry, where we share simple yet effective strategies with personal and practical insights on mindset, self-improvement, and leadership that anyone can use for a more successful shop and a next-level life. I'm your host, Rick Silover. Thanks so much for tuning in and spending a few minutes with me today. I truly hope you find something of value here. If you haven't done so already, and you really like what I'm sharing here, please hit the subscribe button so you never miss another episode. And make sure you share this podcast with others, because when you share the show, the show grows, and I get to help more people. And that's why I do this podcast. Well, hopefully you're coming into the home stretch, the final few weeks of an incredible, successful 2022, possibly the best in the past several years. Your business has been better than ever. You've generated more income, enjoyed more health and fitness. Your relationships are in great shape, and you've experienced some massive growth and self-development. Now, if this sounds like you, congratulations. I'm extremely happy for you. But don't let your foot off the gas now. Let's keep that momentum going into 2023. Now, if that does not describe your year, no worries. First of all, you have lots of company. Not all of us enjoyed that level of success. In fact, many struggled, had failures, endured setbacks and disappointments, did not reach goals or objectives that they were hoping for. But there is some good news. Those levels of success are available to all of us. There is nothing special about those others that had a stellar year. They aren't any smarter, come from a better part of town, or have a better team, or a nicer shop, or, or they're just luckier than the rest of us. We just need to understand what makes that difference between those two scenarios. Quite frankly, it's something everybody has interest in, gets talked about endlessly in almost every business and household this time of year, but most have a really difficult time committing to. And it's actually easier than everybody thinks. As the year winds down, we start thinking about what we could do better next year in some area or several areas of our lives, right? Maybe your diet and exercise routine has fallen off or never even started, and you want to look and feel healthier. Maybe you want to make more income, find a better job, start a business, grow your business, or just feel like you have your financials finally under control, right? Maybe you finally want to find that right person, or improve your existing relationships, or end a toxic one, or be a better parent, a better spouse, expand your social network, or just work on being a better version of you. Simply put, you have goals that you would like to hit, and my goal this week is to help you with a rock-solid plan to actually achieve those goals. Not New Year's Eve resolutions, those are a total waste of time and energy almost every single time, but real goals. These can be easier than they seem, but only if set up correctly. This week, I want to give you a simple but effective three-step framework to set yourself up for success in going after and achieving the things that matter most to you, your top goals for next year. Not the things you would like to do or want to do. No, those are too wishy-washy, and nobody ever follows through on those kind of goals anyways. No, I'm talking about things that you must do, what you need to do, the goals that will propel you into that next level of success, of happiness, of fulfillment that you truly desire. Consider this my early Christmas gift from me to you. I hope it fits. It's the right color. It's not missing any parts. It's just what you wanted and doesn't require a gift receipt. <laughs> All right, number one, assess and clarify goals. Assessing what you really want for next year, 
Not the things you think would be nice to accomplish or the things that sound cool. Certainly not the goals others think you should reach. These should be absolutely musts for you. A resounding hell yes and extremely specific to you and only you. Assess what reaching those goals would mean to you. How would they make a significant difference in your life? What pains would they eliminate? How would they elevate you to the next level you're heading for? And how awesome and proud would you feel once you've attained that goal? Now tie some emotions to it. What feelings would you have after achieving that goal? Can you visualize what it would look like to be, let's say, a slimmer, stronger physique? Or what your business would look like at that next level? Or that new location or addition? Or finally having the right person running it for you so you can spend more time enjoying life? Or how great that new relationship feels? Whatever it is for you, feel that feeling and now tie it to what hitting that goal means for you at an emotional level. There is incredible power when you do this. Next, you need to clarify those well-chosen new goals. You can't hit a fuzzy target. You can't have goals that are soft or loose or general in nature. They have to be very specific and very clear to be successful. Don't choose something vague like, well, I want to make more money. I could send you a $5 bill and you would have made more money and achieved your goal, right? Did that make you feel more successful? Hell no, it didn't. Okay, you get this, right? How about, I'll make 20% more next year than this year. And then plan how to accomplish that. Like, I'll work an extra five hours per week at my regular job, and I'll start a part-time side hustle selling widgets on eBay or Shopify or something like that. Now tie that to an emotion. Like, that extra 20% income will make me feel powerful and in control of my life and able to pay for some of those awesome vacations with my family without stressing me out. There, now you've tied an emotion to a goal with a plan, right? Have you ever looked in the mirror and said to yourself, how come I'm not further along than this? Or why can't I ever seem to get ahead? Are you frustrated with life, unsure of your future, wanting to make a change in your current situation, but too scared to make that next move? Maybe you want to reach that next level in life or in your business, but not sure what the right move is. Or maybe you feel the best thing to do is nothing at all. Many of you may not know, but along with hosting my own weekly podcast, I'm a personal development, mindset, business, and life coach, where I focus on helping people with self-development, mindset, and how to make positive changes in their lives. And trust me, with all the negativity we've had to deal with these past two years, I think we all need some positivity, a positive change, and a fresh approach to our life or our business in 2022. Sometimes, talking to the right person can make all the difference. If you really want to start making those changes in your life, take action right now. Reach out and email, text, call, or direct message me as soon as possible. Do it right now. I'll set you up with a free consultation call and pre-qualify you for either the one-on-one or business coaching that you really need to get your life or your business on the right track to success. Appointments are available right now. Here's a simple example for comparison. If I took the best sharpshooter in the world and lined him or her up with you at a range, gave you both the exact same rifle, same rounds, same distance to target, and out of 100 shots, that sharpshooter will beat you every single shot, right? Well, duh, no shit, Rick. Agreed, no shit. But if I took that same sharpshooter and blindfolded him or her, spun them around three or four times, pointed their shoulders towards the target, did the same 100-shot competition, you would probably outshoot them every single time, right? No matter how talented or excellent you may be at something, you can't hit a target that you can't see. Chasing goals without a clear vision of what exactly those mean to you or using somebody else's idea of a goal is nothing but an exercise in futility. It just won't work that way. There are a few things that make this easier for you to accomplish some of those smaller goals, and that will build confidence, will help you gain momentum towards those larger goals that may be life changers for you. This does require having an open mind and trying some new techniques or tactics that you may have found silly or woo-woo or new age bullshit in the past. But I can assure you this, a closed mind will not open any new doors. Find someone in your world that's achieved some great goals, and they'll affirm these suggestions to be true. All right, number two, create a plan and map it out. Now, if any of you have ever done, let's say, a home improvement project like building a shed or a garage or maybe converting part of your basement into a rec room, 
Did you just run up to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy a big stack of wood, a saw, some nails and screws, and just start cutting, nailing, and screwing things together, hoping it comes out like the picture in your mind? Well, hell no, you didn't. You probably spent a ton of time planning, building, and, and redoing, and redoing, and redoing a blueprint until it was just right with precise measurements, writing down a series of steps, you know, like what I do first, what's next, etc., and mapping out a timeline of how long this will take, right? Measure twice, cut once. Sound familiar? Let's say you wanted to open up a new business and you needed some capital funds to get things started. You would go down to your local bank or your lender, and when you ask them for that small business loan you need to start, what's the one thing they require before there's even a discussion about whether you qualify or not? A business plan, right? Lenders know that without a solid business plan that shows your detailed steps to financial success, they would just be throwing their money away giving it to you, right? Setting a goal that's important to you requires the same type of planning, maybe not as much detail as a construction project or bank loan, but if you want to be successful at hitting those goals, this part is crucial. There's a strong physiological connection when you actually write down, like put a pen to paper, when you write down your goals. The physical process of writing them down in something creates an imprint in your subconscious. It will make it easier to achieve. Do not use an electronic form like a phone or tablet or laptop. You need to go old school for this one. Just write it down, pen to paper, pencil to paper, crayon to paper, I don't give a crap, but write it down. It makes a massive difference. When you write your goals down, they become real and tangible instead of a vague idea that resides only in your mind. Once you've written your goals down, keep them somewhere visible. Put personal goals up on your mirror or on your refrigerator or near your computer screen. This tactic reminds you to keep working on your goals daily. As you're writing down your goals, use a positive growth mindset so you stay excited about completing them. Many people decide on a goal but never create an action plan to determine exactly how they will meet their goal. Your action plan should include the overall goal you're trying to meet and all the steps you need to take to get there and map it out. Aim your life according to where you want to go. Steer your own ship. Chart your own course from where you currently are to where your destination is. Don't be afraid to get creative with your action plan. Go back to your elementary school days and get creative. Write your goal out using crayons, markers, or colored pencils, for example. According to Forbes magazine, creating an action plan this way activates a different part of your brain and actually cements those goals into your mind. Determine the when. After writing down your reasons for wanting to achieve the goals you've chosen, turn your attention to setting deadlines for each of them. It's okay if your progress isn't perfectly aligned with your predicted timeline. You might achieve some goals earlier and others later than planned, but what matters most is that you have a target timeline to aim for. And number three, commit and rewards. Now get started on working towards your goals. You can adjust your plan along the way. Take action. Action is the only thing that separates good thoughts and goals from actual achievement of those goals. Sometimes, hell, lots of times, it'll be uncomfortable. But we are not designed to live 100% of our lives in comfort zones. All growth and progress lives outside of those comfort zones. Believe in yourself. Trust that you are capable. Know that you are deserving. Ignore that inner villain in your mind that tells you otherwise. Nobody is born to be more or less successful than anybody else. It's totally up to you. You decide if it can be successful. And that's it. It's nobody else's decision. The trick here is to adjust your mindset. Now, this is the most important key to all improvements you desire. Your mindset will dictate everything in your life. If you have a closed or fixed mindset, I suggest you work on hitting the reset button on that before you go any further. Remember, as Henry Ford said, Whether you believe you can or you can't, you'll be right. Goals are much easier when you're fully committed to them. Knowing that achieving them and the positive changes they'll bring to your life, your business, is not what you want, but rather what you need. And finally, the only thing missing that can make this process more enjoyable and encourage you to stick to the plan is a couple rewards along the way. What? Isn't hitting goal reward enough? Isn't that the point of this commitment to begin with? Well, yes, it is, but building in a couple of rewards for hitting some smaller milestones on the path to your goal is a great way to keep you engaged and moving forward. 
Now, they don't have to be big, complicated, or expensive. Just a little something to thank yourself for staying on track. So let's say your goal was to lose 30 pounds. When you lose that first 10 pounds, you're going to feel good. Do something nice for yourself. Go out and buy yourself some new clothes in a smaller size for the new you that you'll be when you're 30 pounds lighter. And trust me, you're going to need some different clothes if you drop 30 pounds. When you're just 5 pounds away, go out and celebrate at a nice restaurant. You know, one of those ones you'd never go to because you think they're too expensive. And buy yourself a really good, healthy meal at a fancy place with a nice atmosphere. You're worth it. You worked hard for it. You haven't hit your goal completely yet, but that little reward will give you the oomph you need to get that last five pounds off. Listen, the journey will be challenging, as it should be. There's no easy button on this, and there's no reason why you can't make it a bit more enjoyable and keep your head in the game. There's a great quote I love from Zig Ziglar, and it goes, What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. If you need additional help with setting or achieving those goals, there's two things you can do. Number one, reach out to me. Drop me a note, send me an email, hit me up on social media. But just reach out and ask, and I'll gladly give you some help on what works for me for setting and achieving goals and give you some tips and tricks that might help you get there as well. The other thing you could do is pick up a good book. There's a great book I'd suggest from Brian Tracy, one of the true master educators on goals. And the name of the book is Goals, How to Get Everything You Want Faster Than You Ever Thought Possible. Personally, I've read this book like three times, and I use it all the time And when I'm setting and achieving goals. I'll put a link to this great resource in the show notes for you. All right, so in summary, let's wrap this up. Number one, assess and clarify your goals. Make sure you know exactly what you want to do, what your goals are, and make sure they're important enough that you really want to commit to doing them. Number two, create a plan and map it out. You can't get anywhere without having a good plan, and you got to map out exactly how you want to do this and what the time frame is and what the markers are that you're going to hit along that path. And number three, commit and rewards. Fully commit to the process and going after those goals and doing whatever it takes to get there. And make sure you bake in a couple rewards along the way when you hit those key milestones to keep you engaged, keep you excited, and keep you moving forward to your ultimate goal. Stick to the plan, nail those goals, and make 2023 the best year ever for you. Well, that's all I had for you today. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate your support, and I hope you have a great week. I can always be reached at www.ricksillover.com, where you can find all my social media links, podcast episodes, blog posts, and much more. Yeah.